Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a critical issue that has been making headlines and affecting many aspiring homeowners across the country, home affordability. We'll explore the main factors contributing to the decline in affordability, focusing on four key metrics. The US median home price, the 30-year mortgage interest rate, US household income, and the relationship between home payments and income. Let's break these down into elements to better understand the challenges facing today's home buyers. Let me start with two personal stories to set the stage. When rates dropped below 4% several years ago, I consistently told our viewers that it would be the best time in their entire lives to buy a home. On one video, a viewer asked a question and I answered him and then forgot all about it. About three months later, he returned to the channel to tell me he had purchased a home and he was so glad he had heard the message on this channel. Here we are three years later, interest rates are more than rates are more than double, his house has appreciated more than 25%, and he lives in a home he could no longer afford to buy today. A prospective buyer, let's call him John, has been saving diligently for years, dreaming of buying his first home. John has a stable job, a good credit score, and he's been very careful with his finances. Back in 2021, I urged him to pull the trigger on a home purchase. He couldn't quite afford the homes he liked, so he decided to wait and save up more money. Every time he found a house he liked, it seemed like the prices were outpacing his ability to save. Unfortunately for John, he waited too long. He not only cannot afford what he wants, his rent has gone up each year too. His experience is not unique. It reflects a broader trend many prospective homebuyers face today. Now, let's look at the evolution of U.S. median home prices. Over the past few decades, the median home price in the United States has undergone significant changes. From 1963 to the present, we've seen a steady increase in, pri steady increase in prices. There were key periods of rapid growth, such as the housing boom in the early 2000s, followed by a sharp decline during the 2008 financial crisis. Post-crisis, the housing market rebounded, with prices climbing steadily and even more steeply in recent years. Several factors contribute to this rise in home prices. In the early 2000s, low interest rates and a shift of money from the stock market after the tech bubble burst contributed to rapid price increases. The 2008 financial crisis saw a significant drop in home prices due to the housing market collapse, which was initiated by changes in traditional lending standards. Post-2008, we saw a gradual recovery with prices accelerating due to factors like low inventory, low interest rates, and healthy demand. The COVID-19 pandemic further disrupted supply chains and led to historically low mortgage interest rates, resulting in explosive growth in home prices. Despite the post-COVID interest rate shock, home prices continue to grow due to low inventory. Low inventory. If you're a longtime subscriber, you know that I frequently talk about U.S. housing market conditions because informed consumers save money when they understand their position in the market during negotiations. If you're not a subscriber, please click the thumbs up like button and subscribe now so that you get all my new content when it is fresh. And if you really want to know what's going on in housing, to see and hear the data explained, to learn the tips and tricks that put extra extra money in your pocket, then subscribe now and I'll keep you in the know. Next, let's discuss the trends in 30-year fixed mortgage interest rates. These rates play a crucial role in home affordability. Lower rates generally make borrowing cheaper, increasing affordability, while higher rates have the opposite effect. From 1972 to the present, we've seen fluctuations in mortgage interest rates. In the 1980s, rates often exceeded 10%, making borrowing expensive. The 1990s and 2000s saw a gradual decline in rates, enhancing affordability. Post-2008, rates dropped to historic lows making, lows, making home loans more affordable. Recently, rates have started to rise again, impacting affordability. Many people who would like to move cannot because they would need to borrow money for their next home at a rate more than double their existing rate. While today's higher rates are still below the 50-year average, the trend of declining rates that we saw for the past 45 years has likely ended. John, my friend, experienced this firsthand. When he initially started looking, interest rates were historically low, which made the prospect of buying a home seem feasible. However, as rates began to climb, the monthly payments on even modestly priced homes became prohibitively expensive. John had to reassess his budget and expectations, realizing that the home he had been saving for was now out of reach. Now, let's look at the changes in U.S. household income. Household income is another critical factor influencing home affordability. Tracking the median household income from 1984 to present shows a gradual increase. However, 
the rate of income growth has not kept pace with the rise in home prices, contributing to the affordability crisis. While median household income has generally increased over time, the growth has been modest compared to the home price inflation. Recently, incomes have risen more noticeably, but still lag behind home price increases. John's situation was complicated, furthered by the fact that his salary, although stable and slightly increasing over the years, did not grow at the same rate as housing costs. This is a common issue many face, where wage growth is not enough to keep up with rapidly increasing living expenses, especially housing. Finally, we need to understand the combined impact on home affordability by looking at the interplay between home prices, mortgage rates, and household income. By calculating the monthly principal and interest payments on the median price home and expressing these payments as a percentage of median household income, we can see how affordable or unaffordable homes have become for the average American family. In the 1980s, high mortgage interest rates made home payments a significant portion of household income. During the 2000s boom, despite rising home prices, lower interest rates initially kept payments more manageable. The 2008 crisis brought a temporary improvement in affordability due to falling home prices, despite high unemployment. Post-2008, low interest rates initially improved affordability, but rising home prices soon outpaced income growth. The COVID years created the opportunity of a lifetime for home buyers, but today, increasing mortgage rates and skyrocketing home prices have significantly worsened affordability, taking us back to levels last seen in the 1980s. Understanding the historical context is crucial to grasp the current state of home affordability. In the 1980s, high mortgage rates combined with relatively lower home prices, made home ownership challenging despite lower nominal home costs. The subsequent decades saw significant economic changes, including deregulation, technological advancements, and shifts in labor markets, influencing both household incomes and home prices. Government policies have significantly shaped the housing market. For instance, the Federal Reserve's policies on interest rates directly affect mortgage rates. The low interest rate environment post-2008 aimed at stimulating the economy, contributed to rising home prices by making borrowing cheaper. The historically low rates during the pandemic created a rush on housing, pushing home prices up by double-digit percentages for nearly three years. Supply and demand dynamics heavily influence home prices. In many regions, especially urban areas, new housing supply has not kept pace with demand. Factors such as zoning laws, nimbyism, construction costs, and land availability have constrained supply. Demand has been driven by population growth, urbanization, and investment in real estate. The government's decision to discontinue loan products for below average credit borrowers caused the housing market to collapse in 2008. During the recovery, without these loans, builders slowed the construction of affordable homes and focused on larger homes when interest rates fell. Today, the U.S. is roughly 10 million homes short and inflation has run to the point where builders can no longer deliver the lower priced homes needed. Real estate has increasingly become an investment vehicle with both domestic and international investors buying properties, often driving up prices in the process. Speculative buying can inflate prices beyond what local incomes can support, exacerbating affordability issues for residents. We often hear cries of stopping the hedge funds from buying homes, but that would be like putting a band-aid on a severed artery. The U.S. needs to build more homes and let the supply of new housing curb soaring prices and rents. If we build enough homes, the hedge funds won't want to own them because the return will not justify the risk. While household incomes have generally increased over the past few decades, the rate of increase has been modest compared to the rapid rise in home prices. Wage stagnation, particularly in the middle and lower income brackets, has meant that many households have not seen their purchasing power keep pace with housing costs. This disparity has been a significant factor in the decline of home affordability. The housing market today is characterized by high prices and increasing mortgage rates. As interest rates rise, the cost of borrowing increases, further straining affordability. Looking ahead, several factors will influence the future of home affordability. Economic conditions, policy interventions, and technological innovations. The decline in home affordability is a multifaceted issue driven by 
rising home prices, fluctuating mortgage rates, and relatively stagnant household incomes. Addressing this issue will require a comprehensive approach, including economic policies that promote wage growth, strategies to increase housing supply, and measures to manage demand and investment in real estate. As we look forward to the future, we must continue monitoring these key metrics and adapt strategies to ensure that home ownership remains an achievable goal for the average American family. Proving home affordability involves balancing various economic forces and implementing thoughtful policies that consider both short-term and long-term impacts. By doing so, we can work towards a more equitable and sustainable housing market that benefits all members of society. If you want to see a video featuring my nine tips for buying a home in a highly competitive market, you can view it by clicking on the box in the top left corner of your screen. To see a popular video featuring my top six home selling tips, just click on the box below it. Please remember to like this video, check out the links below it, and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss anything.